I want to pick the Bengals, but throughout this week, you have been giving me stats and figures that point me in the opposite direction. I am picking the Bengals, but every good stat that I come across is anti Bengals. <laughs> And I'm still picking the Bengals. I just, this is one of those I have a feeling games for me. Yeah. Um, this is from a PFF guy, Arjun Menon. Why do I think Joe, Bra- uh, Joe Burrow struggles Sunday? His worst four games this year have come against teams running Vic Fangio's pre-snap too high scheme. Bears, Browns, Chargers, and Broncos all rank in the top 16 in pre-snap too high looks. Top 16 isn't that big to me. Who has has the most snaps with this look? The Rams. Wow. On top of the fact that the Rams have that defensive front. I saw it it may have been in that article, Paul, that you're referencing, but something about Joe Burrow against zone coverage versus man and how much better he is uh, against man. But then when you really look at the numbers, I think most quarterbacks fare better against man. Yes. Everybody's uh, better. Yeah, so it's I don't know. To, easier to But maybe through. maybe the difference was there was a big discrepancy between zone versus man, and he's going to see a lot of zone in this game. Look, I understand the basic things that, uh, you know, these intricate statistics like the one I just read, or the basics like Aaron Donald should do great against a not great interior offensive line of the Bengals or that the Bengals don't cover slot receivers well and Cooper Cup lines up in the slot a lot well. But these seem to me to be very simple, straightforward things. And uh, Dick Vermeil said this last night. He, he's, he's got a Rams background. He won a Super Bowl uh, with the Rams and was with the Rams in an earlier incarnation. Um, he said, you know, it only takes one thing. It's not the best of seven. He was hitting on all those things. And he said, and we've seen in these playoffs recently uh, the better team not win. Um, and, and, so, and, and to me, when the better team finishes uh, not winning, the team that wins becomes the better team. I can't think of um, a team that's gone more worst to first than Cincinnati. I'm trying to think of a super, a team appearing in a Super Bowl that was as bad as they were just a year ago to, to the Super Bowl the, the following year. I feel like we would have seen it loudly pronounced if it's the absolute uh, best Well, one of, one of them, I mean, the Rams in 99. I mean, that was, yeah. they weren't anything prior to that. And you had the greatest show on turf with Mike Martz coming in and then Kurt Warner taking over. Um you know, it, I'm trying to think through the years. There have been teams that have reached the Super Bowl that I didn't think were very good. The Chicago Bears come to mind against Indianapolis that year. And yeah. the Boyne Rain in Miami. Rex Grossman. Yeah. But, I mean, as far as uh, historical perspective, I mean, you never picked the Bengals. Huh. There they are. 1998 Rams were 4-12. and 12. Yeah. That's pretty close. So, uh, on par. But uh, Cincinnati was 3-13? and 13? Yeah, it was also a change of quarterback. 12 and 1? You know, that, that, that also was precipitated by the change to Kurt Warner and the season he had. Same quarterback injured at right. the end of last year, but same quarterback a year older. So, how about this for here, here's a stat in the Bengals' favor. The Rams turned the football over on 11.8% of their possessions this season. The Bengals create a turnover on 12.7% of their defensive possession. Now, thank you or for bringing something to the table. That, defensive uh, that outfit. There you go. That helps your pick, Paul. Yeah, How about that? helps my pick a lot. I, I, over 10% of the time, that's, that's, that's a big. Well, it's one turnover. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if you're averaging 10 possessions a game, you know, you're, you're turning it over. And, and the, that's, that's why the Bengals have been able to go on this run. They, you know, they will allow the sacks. Burrow has just not been turning the football over. Now, when I say that, I mean, he's had a couple of picks, but it's not egregious. You know, it's a great scoop and uh, off the right. turf uh, by a money. But who's Hooker. more likely to throw the egregious pick in this game? I think it's Stafford. It's Stafford. I think it's Stafford. And that, that's, again, this go <laughs> going against your pick once again with but, uh, with what you think is going to happen. But Stafford, I've no, actually, that, that does that, help that you. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, got yeah, yeah. I feel as though they're help. going to press it more down the field. Burrow in the playoffs. They have not had those explosive plays. You know, it, it, but they, do, ha- they have had some explosive plays. 
but not down the field. You know, it's all been at the line of scrimmage. Jamar Chase had, what, five catches against the Titans a, a few weeks ago. Only one of Only them one the beyond line. the line of scrimmage. But at the most crucial moment in the game. Yeah, and he put up yards and, and, and pr- was productive. But they were not putting the football in harm's way. Now, a lot of that has to do with their protection issues. And if Burrow has time, then they're going to let it rip. See, this that's is where it's, it's definitely season. by design, this, this game plan in the playoffs and, and with, with Burrow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, by design because of the necessity of a bad offensive line. And a lot of times, to me, where you go into a game talking about how likely it is that a guy's just going to be absolutely dominant, even if he's Aaron Donald, how often do you see you go into a game where you say, oh, this guy's going to have three sacks and just be in the backfield constantly? Does it turn out that way? I, you know, I, I think Aaron Donald's spectacular. I think he's going to be a headache. But I think Cincinnati is going to do a lot to avoid him, including get Burrow out of, out of the pocket. And I just keep going back to what Willie Anderson said, which I thought was fantastic. Yeah, the protection's not great. There are going to be 15 to 18 plays where he is unbothered. What does Joe Burrow do with those 15 to 18 plays? And I think he'll do a lot with those 15 to 18 plays. 